Okay, today I'm here on penguin.gg, owned by SB737. Now, today I'm going to be doing a summer event guide. So, to start the event, the fishing event we're going to do first, and to do that, all you need to do is type slash warp fishing. Okay? Now, when you get there, turn around and there are these two NPCs here. Now if you right click on one of them you'll get one of these summer event spears. Now it'll start off with 20% catch rate and as you catch more fish it'll increase. So mine's currently 91%. So as you can see now we just go down here into the water. You have water breathing and spawns, don't worry about that. And then we just want to throw this at fish. And as we catch them You'll see just here we'll get these summer event stars. So we can catch 100 per day. So I'm just going to quickly do that and then show you what that looks like. Montage time. Okay, quick check, and we are at 50 event stars, which means we are halfway there. So as you can see, successful catch is remaining 50. So I'll just grind out the last 50 of them. Okay, we were at one stack, so just another 36 to go. Okay, and just one more fish. There we go. So as you can see, if I catch more, can't catch any more fish today. So, doesn't matter where you do this. Now we just hold the event stars in our hand and press use. So for me, that's right click because I'm on Java. 
and as you can see, five of them disappeared and turned into an event firework. So if I just press and hold that, you'll see I'll turn a bunch of them into fireworks. So once I've turned all 100 into fireworks, I will have 20 summer event fireworks. Now, very important step here. Type item with square brackets on the side and type WML. This is very important to actually get anything good from these. No, I'm just kidding. These are amazing. So once someone said good luck, just go ahead and use the fireworks. As you can see, we've got 200 souls, we've got 2.5 million, 10,000 sky coins, 200 souls, 150 head tokens, cosmetic key, 10,000 sky coins. So I'm just going to go ahead and open the rest of these up really quickly. So as you can see from that, we got two cosmetic keys, 10 wither skeleton spawners, three endermite spawners, seven witch spawners, and two basic enchant books. Usually the rewards are a lot better than this. You often get skin keys, survivor keys, grinder keys, but these wither and endermite spawners are worth a fair bit. Um, these 13 spawners are probably worth somewhere around 50 mil or more. But of course, I'm just going to use them at my island. So let's go ahead and open up these cosmetic keys. So, already have the creeper and already have the particle as well. So we'll just chuck them in trash. Okay, check out what books we got. We've got Extinguish One and Agile One. So I already have a bunch of them, and I don't need them. So, we're just going to scrap them for XP. Okay, now. Okay, it's time to explain the Llama event. Okay, so if we type slash spawn, we get teleported right here. Now, for this event, there are 50 colored beach balls hidden around spawn, and if you find all 10 of each color, you'll get a reward from the corresponding colored llamas. And if you find all 50, you get major rewards from this big boy llama here. So to start with, go to spawn, and then right click on big boy llama. Once you've done that, just jump down here, there's no fall damage. Okay, now you want to go to all the llamas first up. So go to Purple Llama, so I've completed the event, so that's why he says that I've found all of them. So go to Purple Llama, and then just run along here, over to Green Llama, right click on him as well. And I'm just going to use Fly to make it a bit quicker for you guys. You can walk, of course. Now the Blue Llama, the Yellow Llama, and the Red Llama tucked behind here. Now, in this video, I'm not going to show you where all of the balls are, because that's quite a long video. But what I will do is just here, I'll insert a screenshot of the list I did up. Now, this list contains the coordinates of every single one. Um, a few of them may be a couple blocks off. But as a general rule, it has the coordinates for every single one. But one thing, some of the egg um the balls are bugged so that means you will not be able to claim them unfortunately which means that for some colors you will not be able to get all of them so as you can see this one if i right click it says you have already found this ball let me see if i can find one of the bugged ones i think this one down here might have been bugged no um Anyway, a few of them might be bugged, and if they are bugged, don't worry about it, just leave, come back a while later, and they'll probably be working again. So yeah, it's looking like the bugged ones might actually be fixed now. But anyway, so yeah, once you've found all 10 of a color, go to the llama. So say I've just found all the yellow balls. I come to the llama, I right-click on him. He will give me a reward. And then after I get the reward from that llama, 
it's up to you in what order you do this, but after you get 10 of a color, you get a reward from the colored llama. And then after you get a reward from the colored llama, do not forget to come back here and click on Big Boy Llama again because he will give you an additional mega reward per color. So you get 10 rewards from this. So some of them are tags, like you can see here, Llama Helper, Sunshine, Summer Event, Relaxation, I think was one. But yeah. So just do the fishing, hunt for the eggs. So as you can see, they're just hidden around all over the place. A lot of them are really easy to find, but if you don't want to spend hours finding the last few, uh, as I said, I'll put up a screenshot of the list I've done up, and I'll also be releasing a video soon which will give you a walkthrough on where to find all of them in the most efficient way possible. So if you want to hang out for that, do that. Otherwise, yeah, there'll be a picture on screen which will be telling you exactly where to go. Um, good luck, have fun, and hopefully you get some awesome rewards. Um, all of the balls are obtainable without fly, but fly will just make your life a little bit easier if you have it, because it means you don't have to walk as far. Like, for example, to get from this spot here down to the blue llama, I could run, but if I have slash fly, it just becomes quicker. That's all it does. Well, um, see you in the next video. There'll be more content coming out on penguin.gg soon. I'll have some deboss videos, some grinding in my island, maybe some cactus building montages. We'll see what happens. But that's enough from me. Uh, have a great day. Uh, see you in the next one.